this tale of the tape is brought to you by Air Asia. Now everyone can fly. Ronnie Aya, 34 years old. Ricky Simone is just 26. Both fighters five foot six inches tall. Slight two inch reach advantage with one Ricky Simone. All right, now to get us started for this featured bout in the bantamweight division, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a wrestler holding a professional record, 14 wins, one loss. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Vancouver, Washington, USA, Ricky Simone. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a big martial artist, holding professional record, 26 wins, nine losses, one no contest. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Brasilia, Brazil, Hani Yaya. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Steve Percival. Steve Percival, our referee. The great Red De La Cruz getting us started for round one. Three rounds if needed in the UFC's 135-pound division. Okay, Ronnie Ayas never been right, finished in the UFC. It. Challenged for the WEC belt all the way back in 2007. And I love this quote from Yaya when he was training early on. He said, all my days in my 20s used to be sore days. So with an added emphasis on recovery, he's training primarily out of South Florida's American top team. And he's just training the right way, and the results certainly speak to that. Nice high kick by Yaya. Simone knows the takedown's coming eventually, so he says, I got to stand my ground and hit him harder than he hits me, and he's going to back up. He won't be trying to shoot. If I keep the pressure, I'll force his shots out. And that's what he wants to do now. Keep the pressure, he'll force Yaya to shoot when he doesn't want to, and then it's easier to defend him. He's got to watch out, because Yaya's a veteran in the game. He's been in this a very long time. He's like a koala bear, man. If he gets a hold of you, oh, yeah. he does not let go. Level change from Yaya. Tonight, the first fight outside the United States for Ricky Simone. Oh, big uppercut, but you see, Connie's willing to trade because he knows, go ahead and take me down. So he's just going to stand his ground and throw as hard as he can, and that's what we're seeing right now. Yaya takes exception with those who think he's just a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu specialist. Loaded up on the right hand there, Simone able to evade. Nice one too by Yaya. His jab's looking good, huh? I know that the Hani habits are hard one to break. Nice shot lands there for Ricky Simone. Well, it used to be what you had to call him. I know. So I'll go with Ronnie. Sorry, Ronnie. Nice jab by Ronnie again. And you see how hard he throws it. I mean, he's leaning over his knee. It's not all balanced, but it's not always the prettiest, but he'll knock you out. He's throwing hard. There's that shot. And Simone says, I just got to stop his single. If I stop his single and just keep punching him with power, he's going to stop He's gonna stop shooting. Big body kick. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Backs up Simone with the right hand. Hurts him. He's got him. Oh, oh huge him right so from Simone. Hard. And another one for good measure. Yaya cover it up. And this is where Yaya's dangerous. He'll pull you into the grappling, and he could be knocked out and still sleep you, so you got to be careful. And no surprise, Simone says, get back to the feet. Simone closing the distance here, faints. Big power from Simone. Oh, another huge left hook. Yaya back to his feet. The question is, for how long? Flying knee just misses as Yaya is able to cover up. Simone showing huge power. Great takedown defense. Good patience. Wayward spinning attack from Yaya. Looked like he might have landed right on his head, and no surprise, Simone is not going to engage Yaya on the ground. Beautiful body shot from Simone. Oh, big uppercut up against the fence, and Yaya's got to get his feet moving. It's a nice right hand from Yaya. Simone eats it without issue. And he's still hurt, Yaya. He's throwing hard because he's hurt. He's trying to get his composure back. Good defense. He knows the single's coming now. So Simone's ready for it. Right 
Simone stalks his prey. Yaya kept that guard high. Ooh, big five. It's an uppercut to the body instead of the head, which makes it hard to shoot underneath it. That's a smart move. And there's this down block to stop the high crotch. Down block is when you get the, the arm down in front of the body like a gate before they can get to your legs. And that's what Simone's doing really well against Haniyaya is hitting his down blocks. Ricky Simone, all business tonight. Looking to take Ronnie Yaya's ranking with him back stateside. And see how Simone's heading him off. He's not chasing, honey. He's taking his time, being patient. He's heading him off instead of chasing him all over the, the cage. And now he's not able to pull him into a big power, being honey. Ronnie. <laughs> Nemiroff, bold character since 1872. He's timing the right hand of Ronnie so well to just go right underneath it. And Ronnie's just like, please come in my guard so I can get a second. Try to get punched. Yaya back to his feet. 15 seconds now to go round one. Yaya's always, oh, goodness, a big raised and partially with the head gentlemen. kick there. Final 10 seconds. Nice slip by Ricky Simone. Yeah, because Ronnie's throwing so hard, he's able to see it coming. Tonight's corner cam is brought to you by Hudson yeah. Shipping, Shipping Innovation. Give me three deep breaths. Three deep breaths. Olha só. Check it out. You can't be, ca you can't be shooting in from far. Every time you're making him walk backwards, you're getting in on him. Let's use our hands to make him walk back. Let's get him against the cage. You landed a right and then he walked back. Only kick when he's walking back. And we see here, jab to a right hand, but just not quick enough. Loads it a little too much. Simone lands first. Big right hand. Puts on Ronnie down. Big right hook. Puts Ronnie down again. And it's because Ronnie's loading that right hand so heavy that Simone's just able to see it before he throws it and counter it immediately. Sage okay, advice ready. from Pahupa Marcos Damata in the corner of Ronnie Aya. Of course, easier said than done to back Ricky Simone up against the fence to take him down. Yaya lands his first kick of round two. And his coach just said, you can't back up. Ooh, that hurt. You see the way Simone checked that kick? I'm telling you, those hurt. I mean, like, his foot hurts right now, I promise. He throws it right away up the middle instead of down to the knee again. But don't think that Ronnie's out of his fight. I promise you, ladies and gentlemen. He's always in it. He's a veteran. Fought Mike Brown in his UFC debut. That was a win in January of 2011. Then Chad Mendez in his second UFC appearance. You can argue this is the closest he's been to contention since that time. He was number 14 in the world going into the Joe Soto fight. Simone looking sharp. He sees everything being thrown at him. He's never getting off balance. He times the takedowns and doesn't engage all the way to the mat. I mean, everything he's doing is the perfect fight to fight on the this is so frustrating. The guy will go down into your guard and let you piece together the full mixture of MMA, forcing him to stay striking. Three and a half minutes to go here, round two. Simone faints, trying to close the distance yet again. Yaya advances, nothing doing. And now a cut, you see, to the right of the right eye of Ricky Simone. Yeah, big right hand. I mean, Ronnie's catching him in every now and then. Don't think he's not hitting him. It's just that yeah. Simone's landing bigger shots a little bit more. Well, the unofficial more. numbers tell you significant strikes landed. Simone, 30. Yaya, 29. There you go. And he's Ronnie stays in the fight in a different way than you think. He does land. He throws combinations now and then it's because he's not worried about you trying to take him down. Like I said, he doesn't care. Now, all he needs is one of those singles right, to finish. Not a terrible entry there, but Simone too quick. Simone knew exactly the type of shot 
that Ronnie was going to take. He said he's going to shoot with his head on the outside single. That's all I got to defend, and he's he's done. And so far, that's all Ronnie's shot so far. Straight shot there from Ronnie Ayo. We're being told, and now we see it. A clash of heads caused that opening on the right side of Ricky Simone. I wonder if the judges actually know that, you know? Doubt it. So it, does that go against Simone in the sure. cards? And that's so interesting because it's a headbutt. It's not legal. So, well, oftentimes you'll see a referee audibly say it was a headbutt that caused the cut, but Steve Percival did not, I don't believe. Under two minutes now to go in round two of a possible three. And this is why it's so hard to finish, Ronnie, because you can't fall into the mat. Oh! That's all he wanted, that one right hand. That's what I'm telling you. You have to be careful because you can't go to the mat with this guy. And Ronnie can throw as hard as he wants at any time. So all he's got to do is land a couple, get that one takedown, and then it's a problem. Now he's a problem for Simone all of a sudden. Now Yaya with an extra burst. Plenty of time with which to work here. Round two. Simone leads with an elbow, unable to land. Simone keeping his footwork going very nicely. Oh, Ooh. huge. Oh, oh, my goodness. A nice elbow lands by Simone. This has turned out to be an awesome fight. Oh, and actually, that what just dropped on Iyaya was a, basically a bump. He bumped him with the shoulder on his way in. I like to call it a crash. You crash into him so they can't keep the pressure. And that crash just really hurt. You don't see um, that every day, right? Like a linebacker going in to make a tackle. But that's exactly what Simone said he had to do. He said, I got to stand my ground when he comes in and hit him with power, and then he can't back me up and take me down. And he's exactly right. Got to watch out for that right hand of Ronnie, though. Simone splits the guard with the left hand, now connects to the body. 40 seconds to go in the round. That's some slick stuff on the feet from Simone as he sticks and moves. And that's nice of, of Simone to do that. I mean, you guys, people at home might not understand. Why is he taking him down and not engaging? Because it messes up the rhythm of the stand-up. It buys Simone some time. It makes Ronnie think a little bit. It makes him feel a little bit silly getting dumped on his butt, even though it doesn't do a lot of damage. And that was an illegal kick, technically. Yeah. That was straight to the face while he's on his knees. That's illegal. So. You see Simone, Simone partially engaging Yaya, but trying to keep his distance now at the end of the round. He'll engage. With 10 seconds left, he'll engage in the guard, but I don't suggest doing that through the whole fight. So we'll see in just a second this headbutt that cut Simone off the double. He crosses over, boop, and you see it right there, just bumps. There's the right hand of Yaya. Uppercut versus the right hand is the, always the battle, and the right hand won that one. And here's the shoulder crash. He comes up, boop, and leads with the shoulder just to put, keep, keep Ronnie safe. You know, hey, careful, don't, you're not backing me up. So uh, be careful of those his hands, right? So he's gonna come after you. He's gonna try to take those hands. He might, yeah, he might try to get stay tight, right? Move your head when you're coming in, okay? You stop a little bit in this round. Okay, you gotta keep that movement you did in the first round. Okay. Okay. Uh, put some body kicks in there if you feel like it. Okay. Let's uh, let's bring a little bit more into the table. Let's go, coach. The unauthorized reproduction or distribution of this copyright work is illegal and punishable under law. Dom, I saw your reaction to the Simone Corner advice there. You like some of it, not all of it. Everything was good. The only thing I don't like is the body kicks. I mean, okay, if you're ever going to give ready. Ronnie a you chance to take go, it down, gentlemen. it's going to be a kick to the ribs where you can catch your leg. So, I mean, just keep it low, keep it high. Keep punching the body, though. That's what I suggest. Rip the body more with your hands. Simone whips on the counter, and Yaya able to... And you see how, how Yaya tried to set up set up his guard here. He threw a kick and then dived into a guard. That's something that Anderson Silva can do in Adesanya tonight. For those of you at home watching this fight, that's a way that he can give himself a chance, too. But Ronnie Yaya just not able to get close enough to do damage to Simone right now. Yaya back to his feet here. Simone faints, trying to close the distance. Yaya has thrown a lot more strikes than Ricky Simone. Numbers very even in 
in terms of strikes landed here, four minutes to go. And that's a big change for Ronnie. If you watch his fights in the past, I mean, he got completely outstruck by numbers and everything, only had grappling. I mean, he's filled the gap a lot in his striking in this matchup. Simone's just edging it out with the technique because he's just a little sharper on his feet. Yeah, you landed a right hand a moment ago, right on that ear of Ricky Simone. Ooh, Ooh. goodness, big punch. And Ronnie just eats it and says, okay, that was nice, thank you. Well, I think Yaya understands just how big a fight this is in terms of career trajectory, the rankings. And these guys are throwing heat at each other, and they're eating it, too. Very impressive to watch these guys meet in the middle and just scrap it out. Good sprawl from Simone, and gets back to his feet. Simone's takedown defense looks awesome. You're not even letting him touch his legs, and that's just good down blocks. And that's one of the things that you don't see a lot of in MMA. A lot of guys are good at defense once you grab a hold of the legs, but Simone's not even letting him touch his leg. And uh, that's a step ahead with the grappling and seeing what's coming from Ronnie. Yaya 0 for 8 unofficially on his takedown attempts through the fight's first 12 minutes. Oh, Yaya loaded up. Simone able to duck under that offering. Got a cut in the top of Ronnie's head. Not sure what exactly that came from. Probably an elbow in the scramble somewhere. Maybe another headbutt, though. Yaya yeah, again out in front, overreaching with that right hand. Yeah, but he is making an adjustment. He's throwing the right and missing, and now he's seeing that Simone's going underneath it, so he's following with the hook. If he can fake the right and come with a power hook, it might be able to catch him. And yeah, we're seeing another headbutt is what caused the cut on Yaya's head. Again, Yaya shoots, nothing doing. Yaya can even pull guard here. He'll grab a hold of your elbows and suck you in, but not able to do it. Simone ain't having it. Body head for Simone. Really starting to put it on Yaya right now. Yaya's getting hurt. The punches are starting to add up. The cumulative damage that Simone's been putting down starting to add up. You're seeing it. So a dominant first round for Ricky Simone, and now the fight has settled in a little bit. New scoring. You could make an argument it was a 10-8 for Simone in round one. Yeah. Traditionalists will argue that point until the cows come home, but there's a discussion. Yeah, I definitely don't. I mean, right when you start, I don't even know what rules or what anymore. I mean, you start getting running. it, and they give you a whole new set of rules in a different country, in a different right. state, there, who knows? <laughs> you're just doing the best you can at this point when you're fighting. Because these, you know, these commissions just change the rules every chance they get. Yeah, but I think we're setting our ways with a 10-9 round. One guy clearly wins. We think it's a 10-9, and we move on when the new scoring was supposed to ooh, make 10-8s more frequent and have judges use them more liberally. Take down for Simone, one minute to go in the fight now. I mean, you can just see, I mean, Simone's doing so much damage, but that's just how hard it is to finish Ronnie Yaya. He stays in the fight, and the fact that you can't go to the ground with him, and he's so threatening on the ground, is just really the issue of why it's hard to finish him. You got 40 seconds, and that's enough time that you can try to play in the guard of Yaya, because you can't give Yaya more than about a minute at a time on the ground because he makes adjustments on the ground. But 40 seconds, 30 seconds or so at a time, you're probably safe if you're Simone, especially with his defense. 30 seconds now to go in a fight that has been yet another showcase for the UFC's Bantamweight division. That many would argue has never been stronger in terms of the top 20 than it is right now. I mean, it's beautiful watching the Bantamweight division right now because there was a time when it was only 155 pounds and up. And I, you know, was one of the first people to start this weight class with Bill Ryan Faber. And, you know, it's nice to see that when guys show up at the division and fight for it because a lot of guys are moving divisions and doing this and doing that. We got to keep these divisions alive. Shades of Clay Guida and Ricky Simone there down. The stretch. Awesome matchup by these guys. They put it all out for the fans. This fight replay is brought to you by Nemiroff. Bold character since 1872. Huge right hand. I mean, just floors Ronnie Yaya. Nice right hook. Just clips him. Spins him to the floor. He goes for the uppercut in Simone, and finally Ronnie lands that overhand that he'd been winging all night. Nice takedowns all night by Simone. Perfect timing. Never engaged too far into the jiu-jitsu. And that's pretty much how this fight went. Big shots landed. Lots of takedown attempts. Great cardio. This was a this was a chess match, ladies and gentlemen. It was an awesome fight.
Let's take a look at some of the numbers because I think they're interesting from this fight if we could. Ronnie Yaya attempted nine takedowns unofficially, unable to land any of them. On the other side, Ricky Simone landed four of five, but he wasn't going to engage in that realm. Significant strikes, 61 to 50 in favor of Simone. Yaya threw 40 more strikes, and of course, the two big knockdowns for Ricky Simone. Yaya had one big connect. Simone was able to stay upright, and all indications are this will be the eighth consecutive win for Ricky Simone, but... You just never know. Simone is durable as they come. We found that out today. So is Ron. All right, co-main event coming up next. First, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. The judges score the contest 30-27, 30-27, and 30-25 for the winner by unanimous decision. Ricky Simone! What a fight, gentlemen. What a great showcase for the Bantamweight division. Here he is, Ricky Simone, 15 and 1, eighth consecutive win. Gotta feel good about that one, man. That guy is no picnic. Hell no, he's not. Australia, what is up? Damn, I'm trying to put on a show for you guys. Heck yeah. So you had to deal with some adversity in the fight. The cut, obviously. Due to a headbutt, he did land once on the feet, but this was your fight, and you certainly took it to him early and often. Dang, did I get cut? <laughs> yeah, no, he's, you know, he's a specialist. His jiu-jitsu is, I, I feel like, one of the best in the UFC. You know, he's, I, I kind of picture him as like the Damian Maya of the Bantamweight division. So uh, we were worried about that, but he knew he had to get me down to the ground. So we were out there throwing for you guys. That was a lot of fun. He came in as the ranked fighter. You're going to have a number next to your name next week. Talk us through the rest of 2019 for Ricky Simone. Man, that's what it's about for me. I'm here to make it to the top. I'm sacrificing myself in the gym all the time to put on a show for you guys. So thank you guys for coming out. I'm hope I hope you guys had a good time. I think they did. You certainly maximized the showcase. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Ricky Simone.